Static pressure refers to the resistance of airflow caused by the system's components and ductwork. The push of the air must be greater than the resistance to the flow, or air will not circulate. So the external static pressure is the work the blower must perform to overcome the system's resistance for delivering the specified airflow. This concept is easier to understand in terms of blood pressure. Every doctor visit requires blood pressure to be measured. It's an indication of health and helps the doctor with diagnosis and recommendations. The same is true with external static pressure. It helps with diagnosis and recommendations. The industry standard for external static pressure is 0.5 inches of water column. If the technician measures 1.0 inch of water column, the resistance is doubled and the blower must work harder to deliver the recommended airflow. Measuring static pressure is simple. On the HVAC system, four test ports will provide valuable information for commissioning and diagnosing. Test port P1 measures the total resistance of the return ductwork. Test port P2 measures the total resistance of the return side of the system. The difference between P2 and P1 is the resistance of the filter. Test ports P3 measures the total resistance on the supply side of the system. Test port P4 measures the total resistance of the supply ductwork. The difference between P3 and P4 is the resistance of the evaporator coil. Total external static pressure is the pressure measured external to the equipment. It's the difference between the total pressure on the negative side of the system and the total pressure on the supply side or external static pressure is the difference between P3 and P2, where P3 is the greatest positive pressure and P2 is the greatest negative pressure. It's a good practice for installers to install these four test ports during installation. This will assist with selecting the correct blower speed for heating and cooling, plus assist service technicians with confirming the system's health during a maintenance check or diagnosis. Once the system runs at optimal blower speed, document the four heating and the four cooling speed pressures. These values can be referenced during a maintenance check and quickly determine a performance issue. If a system does not have these four test ports, then the system's vitals have never been checked. It's malpractice when an installer or service technician neglects to check the system vitals. With external static pressure being one of the most important checks of a system, Invest in a reliable manometer with static pressure port. You are only as good as your knowledge and your tools. Thank you.